Welcome back. As we continue to talk about COPD care tips, today we're going to talk about knowing your medicines and specifically your inhalers. It is very important for you to know the names of each medicine you take, for what reason do you take them, and how do you take them. Inhalers are the mainstay of COPD treatment, and they are of two categories, maintenance inhalers and rescue inhalers. Think of maintenance inhalers as something that's your usual maintenance of the disease, so it doesn't progress and you don't have enough flare-ups and your symptoms are controlled at baseline. And then your rescue inhaler is something that you need for SOS, for acute symptoms that you want to get relief for. So let's talk about maintenance inhalers first. These inhalers are meant to keep the small air tubes of the lungs dilated so there's ease of airflow in and out of the lungs and also to reduce the inflammation in the lungs. There are three categories of medicines that are used in maintenance inhalers. And to make the names easy, I will use the abbreviations of the names. So one category is LAMA, which stands for Long-Acting Muscurinic Antagonist. Then it is LABA, which is Long-Acting Beta Agonist. And number three is Inhaled Corticosteroids, or ICS. Most people with COPD are first started with a LAMA inhaler, like Spireva inhaler, which has Teotropium, which is a LAMA compound. If the symptoms are not well controlled with just a LAMA inhaler, which means you're still having breathlessness, you're still getting short of breath very easily, and that's affecting your day-to-day -day life, then they would add a LABA-LAMA combination inhaler, which has two compounds, LABA and a LAMA. And here is the list of inhalers that contain LABA and LAMA. This could also be the first inhaler to start off if you were symptomatic at the very beginning. For people who have COPD flare-ups, or they have certain features like having eosinophils in their lungs or in their blood, or having features of asthma, then they're also going to benefit from having inhaled corticoid steroids in their inhaler regimen as well. So typically they would be receiving all three compounds in a single inhaler like Trilogy, which has LABA, LAMA, and ICS, or it could be a combination of two inhalers, one having LABA, ICS, and other one having LAMA. Keep in mind that maintenance inhalers are to be used every day, even if you're having a good day. Now, if your symptoms are not in control or you're having flare-ups, or if they have been in really good control for a long time, then discuss with your doctors if there's any change needed in your maintenance inhalers. The other category is a rescue inhaler. And as the name says, it is to help you out when you're having acute symptoms, when you're having wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath. So have this inhaler with you available all the time. Keep it in your purse, keep it in your pocket, keep it in your office, in your home, wherever you are, so you have easy access to it whenever you need it. It's a good idea to write down which inhaler you are taking by its name and write down why you are taking it. For example, I use Spireva inhaler two puffs every day for the long-term control of my COPD. And I take two puffs of Albuterol or Pro Air inhaler whenever I feel symptoms or having wheezing and chest tightness. It is also very important to learn the right technique of how to use your inhaler. Now there are different brands out there and different devices that release the medicine in a different way. So please make some time to read and learn how to use your specific inhaler. In the description below, I have put in the information and a link to American Lung Association a website where you can see the video for how to use each and every type of inhaler. If you're not using the medicine correctly, then it would not end up in your lungs. It can get lost in the air or it can get stuck on the back of the throat or go into your stomach. And believe me, this is a very common problem we see in people coming to our clinics, that they are using the medicines, but the technique is wrong. And to make it easy, you can also use a spacer with your inhaler to get the medicine in the right place. So I hope after this video, now you're gonna take some time to go back to your inhalers, look at them, see what kind of inhalers you're using, are you using a combination maintenance inhaler or is a single drug? And if you're not happy with your symptom control, then talk to your doctor and see if there's any change that's needed. Also, I would encourage you to write down your inhaler by names and the reason why you take them. Gain better control of your breathing through Pep Buddy, your personal breathing coach.